Welcome to part four of our seven part series on book manufacturing. In this video, we'll introduce you to the various bind styles offered at Total Printing Systems. You'll learn which binding is right for your particular project and you'll see how each bind style is accomplished. In related videos, we'll take a deeper look into the various steps it takes to manufacture a book. The next step in your book's journey is binding. Let's examine perfect binding, commonly referred to as a paperback. This bind method is affordable and fast. Your book cover has been pre-cut and is ready to be bound to the interior. Individual book blocks are hand-fed into either one of our Horizon BQQ470 Perfect Binders or our Horizon Cabs 4000 Perfect Binder. This binder has nine pockets and is automated binding 4,000 books per hour at top speed. We offer either a standard EVA glue or PUR adhesive. PUR offers superior adhesion over EVA and also adds the ability for the bound book to lay much more flat without compromising the binding strength. Once the covers have adhered to the interior, the book travels to the accumulator, then to the conveyor, which feeds one of our three knife trimming stations where the perfect bound books are trimmed to their final size. We are comfortable perfect binding from eighth of an inch to two and a half inch. However, we have been known to bind smaller and larger when asked. TPS also has in-house production of lay flat binding, which allows a soft cover book to lay open. Lay flat binding is achieved by applying a spine reinforcement material to the cover. When the cover is applied to the book block, the reinforcement material allows the spine at the book block to float freely and lay flat. For small booklets, calendars, catalogs, and some magazines, saddle stitching is used. The process begins when printed interiors as well as covers are placed into bins and are then collated, scored in sections, folded, stitched, smashed, and finally three knife trimmed. We are able to saddle stitch up to 116 pages of 50 pound paper plus a cover. Workbooks and notebooks typically use mechanical binding because they need to open flat. The printed sheets are punched with round, oval, or slotted holes on the binding edge. Then wire, plastic coils, or rings are inserted through the holes, keeping the book blocks together. Examples are plastic spiral coil bindings, wire O, and comb binding. We can also produce semi-concealed coil-bound books that allow for a printed spine to be displayed on bookshelves. We are able to mechanically bind up to 3 quarters of an inch automatically and up to 3 inch manually. If you are looking for maximum strength and durability, then case binding, commonly known as hardcover, might be a good choice. At TPS, we have complete in-house case binding capabilities. Let's take a look at the case binding process. Your book block is first either adhesive bound or side sewn. We use side sewing for a more structurally sound product by using a combination of nylon and cotton string. Side sewing is widely used on children's books and thinner book blocks. Once your book block has been bound by one of these methods, an in sheet is applied. Your in sheets are created in house using our Technograph Pronto in sheet maker, the first in sheet maker of its kind in the US. In sheets can be printed and customized for any book using a variety of papers. The in sheets are created with a gauze spine specific to your spine bulk, then wrapped around the book block similar to a cover. At this point, head and foot bands can be applied. All the while, the actual case covers are being created on our GP2 Technologies auto case making equipment. The printed or fabric cover is run through glue. Then three pre-cut boards are applied by hand before being fed into the machine, which trims and folds the cover around the boards. Next, the cover and boards are married to the inch sheet wrapped book block using the super sticker. The operator places the book covers on the left conveyor belt, then places an individual book block on the wing. The super sticker joins the two and adds additional adhesive in the joint area for superior support. Each book travels down a conveyor to the smashing station where 1,500 pounds of pressure is applied to the joint area. The finished product emerges where it is checked for quality before being packaged. Ready to get started? Visit our website at www.tps1.com and use our instant quote generator to find pricing. More information can be found on our website 
or by watching our in-depth videos about each step in the book manufacturing process. Thanks for watching part four of our seven part series on book manufacturing. You can find the next video in our series about packaging, fulfillment, and shipping options at www.tps1.com. We're excited to see your book in print.